I was a very selfish person. And, and it was very difficult to have those first few years without a lot of counseling. So I um, think probably there are two aspects of uh, I had a love and some marriage together that I'm going to pass on to you guys. Okay? All right? The first is the love that keeps a marriage strong and growing and lasting is a love that is a giving love. It's all about you. It takes, uh, it takes a lifetime to figure that out. After 38 years, I may be about a third now. First uh, Corinthians 13 says this, Love is patient. Love is kind. It does not envy. It does not boast. It's not proud. It's not rude. It's not self-seeking. It's not easily it keeps no records of wrongs. It does not delight in evil, but it rejoices in the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. Love and faith is the message. Do so you guys have that? It's a giving love. All those words remind us that it's all about giving. The second characteristic is not only giving love, it's a poor giving. When we don't do those characteristics real well, what do we do? Um, it needs to be a, a, a damage control, right? And uh, forgive, forgiveness and forgiving each other is a big deal. It's what keeps all relationships great. So, uh, there's a, there's a verse that says, Be kind and uh, tender hearted one to another, forgiving one another, even as God for Christ's sake is forgiven you. If you really love each other, you'll learn to forgive. Yeah. When to say, I'm sorry. Virgo, that's probably going to be the guy I stand for. It's brutal, isn't it? Uh, the hardest thing is to start that. The harder thing is to say, yes, I forgive you and me. So, I'm, I'm sorry. Would you please forgive me? Yes, I forgive you. Going both ways, that keeps a great marriage, a great relationship. So a lasting love, <clears throat> there was, uh, I can sum it up for you, it's all about self-sacrifice, living kind of love, and forgiveness that keeps the times when things haven't gone well. Coming back together and restore the grand style and the lasting life. If you guys can do that, we can. As an affirmation of this kind of covenant, of this kind of relationship, I want to speak to you first, Giorgio. Giorgio, will you take Karina to be your wedded wife, to cherish her and lay down your life for her? Will you pledge your loyalty to her and promise to love and honor and comfort and keep her? in health and in sickness, in prosperity and adversity, and keep yourself only under her, as long as you both shall live, and so answer, I will. Well, Karina, will you take Georgia to be your wedded husband, and to cherish him and respect him unconditionally? Will you pledge your loyalty to him? <laughs> okay. Will you pledge your loyalty to him, and promise to love and honor, and comfort and people in health and in sickness, in prosperity and adversity. And keep yourself only in the end, as long as you don't show them. So answer, I will. I will. That was a strong I will. <laughs> you two have uh, prepared your own vows, and so it will allow you to turn and face each other when you hand your book in. We honor and say your house to each other. person to do what I'm here to do today, say what I'm going to say, and feel the way I feel, 
And knowing that, I guess, how do you come into it knowing that it's forever and not just a feeling of um, a moment or an extended moment? Um, and I like to think that with the life that I've led, I've known the difference between true happiness and superficial happiness. Because, I mean, I had a lot of, had a lot of luxuries afforded to me growing up, a lot of being babies. <laughs> some, some people, some people know. You know. Those things were not cheap. But, you know, they, you, with these things like that, you chase after a happiness where they get one and then all you want is another one. Get, um, and I don't want to, I want to keep living like that. I've known since I was maybe 13 years old that I didn't want to keep living like that. And, um, yeah, I, you know, I mean, let's put it this way, in terms of the stereotypical um, mold of what masculinity means, I guess people treat, men treat, are supposed to ideally treat relationships up to a certain point like being babies, or, or you know, just fill out their Pokedex. And I don't play the game like that. I just take my starter, get it to the highest leveling, play the whole game out. So I take you, Karina Summers, to be my starter that I finish the whole game with. <laughs> Can share, you can share my victories, my defeats, and my affinity for bad metaphors. Um, I actually took out the silliness from mine, and now I'm projecting. <laughs> so, I'm not as brave as he is, so I wrote mine down. Fully expecting to choke up if I didn't. Well, Giorgio, you know me better than anyone, so... Even though you don't know exactly what you're going to say, you probably can give a pretty accurate summary. You know that my mind works logically and mathematically, and that I need solid evidence before I'll promise anything. Well, I found my evidence. The day I met you, I saw that you were a wonderful person. And as we got to know each other better and fell in love, I felt I needed to work harder to deserve you. And the silliness that was supposed to be in here involved the bitter butter battle, um, where uh, they are building up their weapons to try to beat the other weapons and keep going. This is how our love for each other has been. Every day I have to, I feel like I have to work hard and deserve him. And every day he does the same thing. And every day because of this we fall more and more in love. So now we've got a cycle set up like this. How can we do anything but stay in love? So based on this evidence, I know confidently that I will always love you. I will always be with you. I will always be on your side. And I will always love you more and more every day. I said it better myself. <laughs> right. We're gonna have uh, exchange rings now. So I'm gonna ask Georgia, what token do you offer to the patient to fill these out? I offer this ring. Great, what token do you offer? This ring. You know, these rings are sacred symbols of your marriage and your relationship. Their circle reminds you of how much God loves you. And your abiding love and your vows and your saving. Um, I pray for you. Father, we thank you for these rings. These small things that mean so very much. You know, the vows are things that you take seriously. We thank you for the beautiful vows that have been spoken to each other today. We pray that you would not only hear them, but you would bless them. And these are the ones that we're in the Jesus' name. 
you can, uh, I'm going to dismiss you in just a moment and uh, just head on out right away if you wouldn't give them a chance to be back in here. Again, thanks for coming. God bless you all. Yeah. You are dismissed, yeah.